Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Dale Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair. Okay, family, we're going to have to wait on this situation because this, this is just getting a little bit too much to deal with, okay? He's not being professional. He's not being a good spirit. He's not being in good spirit of doing what he had wanted all his life to do. Okay, well, most of his adult life, earlier years. King Charles going to start acting up again, y'all. <laughs> he was first fussing about the ink. And positioning of papers that was on his desk that was just cluttered. Y'all remember that? Y'all know I brought that story out. And he was just, you know, telling his servants to get this stuff together. Because it's just a, it's a mess. And he don't want to sit down at his own table that he don't made a mess on. Now he's fussing about a damn pen leaking. Okay, I'm like, okay. Okay, you, you, you're doing a little bit too much, King. You're doing a little bit too much over there in Britain. Don't let them folks dethrone you over there because you, you're, you're just uh, doing a hissy fit over there. Now, we know you ain't had time to publicly or, well, I guess it'd be privately <coughs> to mourn your mother's death. But your mama has been in charge for over 70 some years and she told you it will come a time where i will die and you will have to take the throne and do what you say you've been wanting to do just about your whole entire adult life now we get this uh information from page six yep we were being nosy we were sneaking around trying to find stories because we knew charles was cutting up we knew king charles was uh what do you call it showing up and showing out okay so i'm like william where are you come save your grand i mean your dad okay because he's acting like your, your granddad really his dad's dad and uh he can't handle the pressure i mean good lord you can't even sign documents you can't even uh speak and and, and um be likable because that's all it is likability over there in britain and you're not showing likability at all you're not showing that when you got thrust into this position um king charles you were just acting like a baby the whole time i'm like i know i know your mama took all your time and now you can care two shits over heels things about really running britain over there you don't really care you just want to go play polo you want to smoke a cigar or a cigarette and you want to talk shit with the boys that's i know it i know it but the only thing you can do is denounce your throne and leave it to your son and you can back your son up okay because he's more in the frame of mind of running a country he he's been doing it for a little bit and uh, he knows what comes and goes into it because he's watched his grandmother do it forever. Okay. Yeah, he ate it. Mm -hmm. Throw the other part away. So, uh, throw that plate away for me. And so, therefore, where is he? Yeah, there with you. Oh, there you go, Sean. Y'all got the same color red. Look. Okay. You know. My daughter, my son-in-law, my mother, they all bother me when I'm taping. I can't find one time where they're not up, and they have to come ask me something. So, you know, when you were over here with the fam, you know, we, we have these things here and there. And she done threw a football at me, one of those uh, cushion footballs we bought for her uh, baby. Uh, now she don't throw that at me because I'm, I'm telling I'm telling the secrets over here or what they're doing to me and I can't never have time to myself to be with my YouTube family and they don't interrupt me my goodness but we just gonna go on into it okay we found page six they brought an article out uh, I'm trying to see who wrote it Nikki Goslin Augustin wrote it for us she titled it King Charles loses his temper over a leaky pen mm-hmm can't bear this bloody thing I'm like, 
really, really, you're really showing a lot of privilege here, King Charles. You're really showing your ass at this point, okay? You're acting like a little spoiled child having a temper tantrum because you don't got woken up from your nap. Okay, your slumber to come and run a country. <laughs> you say you you refuse to do it because under the circumstances, you ain't had a chance to uh, take in the full effect of losing your mom. Okay, because she was first your mom before she was queen. I think. Well, I'm not sure about that, but it, the, the sentiment felt nice to say. Okay, but uh, we know you're kind of upset still. Because you can't mourn in the public like you want to. You can't mourn in private because somebody always bothering you about your royal duties. And I know, I know, I know it's a lot. It's, it's a, a very heavy burden to carry the crown. But now you have the crown and you must wear it and uh, be adorned in it and do your job, King Charles. But okay, we're going into the argument of why he's acting the way he's acting. Okay. It says King Charles III displayed yet another flash or, uh, well, flash of angry over or anger over well and other pen. Okay. First it was the ink. Then it was the clutters of the paper. Now we're back again with the, the pen on, uh, stained his hand and he can't take it. I'm like, ooh, the privilege. The privilege. I wonder if the citizens are cutting up over there and they're just not letting us see the citizens that they are really not wanting you to be king over there Charles I'm just saying because you, you you're acting like you're Western American over here you acting like one of the citizens over here in, in, in our country you know where you petty and, and you throw a temper tantrum and everybody just soothe you you know we got that over here but see over there where you at Charles you can't show nothing but strength you cannot show weakness Okay, so maybe you will got to Americanize more so than what you're trying to say Harry is and his wife Meghan Markle, okay? Maybe you really want to be over here in the States, you know what I'm saying? And live carefree and still have people to do what you want them to do, but you have more time to play. Well, guess what, King Charles? You was once prince, okay? Now you're king that holds up another higher standard that you got to hold yourself to, Okay, you want to hold your cabinet to it. You want to have your servants to it. But you don't want to hold up to that. Now get it together or leave it alone. Give it on to William and you can be gone. Okay, that's what I'm saying. But going back to the article, it says the new monarch who just received a warm welcome from crowds in Belfast was visiting the royal residence of Hillsborough uh, Castle in Northern Ireland on Tuesday when his latest snafu occurred. In an instant viral video, Charles 73 admitted he wrote the incorrect date, scribbling September 12th instead of the, uh, the 13th, before passing the uh, passing the pen to his wife, Queen Corsair Camilla. Camilla, you might have to sit at the table. Well, you know how you're trying to feed a baby their food, and there's certain things that they won't eat, but you're pleading with them. That's what you're going to do to Charles. You're going to be his caregiver because it can't. It, it seems like the only person he don't fuss at is you. Okay, and if he tried to fuss at you, you being Queen Corsair, you would cuss him out. And it would be no nothing said, nothing um to be dealt with, and it'd just be over and done with. Ah, hell, we should have not acknowledged you. You might need to take the throne. Hey, the queen been running for so long. I'm pretty sure, Camilla, you can do a better job than what Charles is up there doing. Because you're not, you're strong. You're not, um, what do you call it, uh, overwhelmed at this certain stage of events. But King Charles just feels like he can't get it together. Get him a bottle and put him to bed, Camilla. And I'm pretty sure you and William, y'all can do the darn thing, y'all. Sales, King Charles ain't ready. He ain't ready. He missed the boat when his mama lives for as long as she lived. And now he just, uh -uh, he don't want to be bothered with it no more. <laughs> he said, F this, F this, I'm got, I got to go. But anyway, the um, parliament is holding him accountable. And he's going to have to sit in his own shit. He wanted it. Now he got it. And now he got to show up and show out for the people of Britain now. Stop this, Charles. Stop this foolishness. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, as he handled as he handed out the fending writing instrument, the king realized it was leaking. Mm. Mm. I told you, 73 people ain't got no sense. They don't need to be in 
uh, money-making decisions and the well-being of their citizens. They don't need that role. They don't need to be playing in that uh, playground at the age of 73. Man, just pass the torch over. King Charles, just pass it over. Pass it on over because it don't pass you by and you having a hard time trying to deal with the situation at your age, okay? But anyway, going back um, to the article, it said, uh, Oh, God, I hate. He began before Camilla, 75, interrupted him to note that the ink was going everywhere, okay? Now, he didn't know that. He couldn't see that Camilla. He couldn't see that girl. Now, you're a little bit older than him. I'm telling you. And you have a little bit more tenacity about yourself than he does. Okay, I, I'll tell you the truth. She had to go over there like a baby and assist him because he was having a fit because the pen was leaking. Make it make sense, people. That's my other channel. So make sure y'all go over there and subscribe and like my videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, and you're on this platform. We still need you to subscribe over here, even though we have been here for a while. Okay, you know, that's but that was the birthplace of Deb Chanel's 40th world, along with the family. The family affair is what we like to call our family over here. Because it's always an affair. It's always a, 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 a situation where we have to call y'all to the house and we talk over some things. Because, you know, we, we just don't understand. So we need more family members opinionated to address whatever topic subject we're having at the time okay got it good going back to the uh, article it says um another pen was sw swiftly brought over to camilla who calmly signed the book while her husband raged in the background see what i'm saying see what i'm saying he can't, can't handle pressure he can't handle pressure look people get camilla in that seat or get William there because he he too fit to be tired. He don't want the position. He's too old for the position and he knows this and yet nobody's paying attention to his tantrums. That's a cry for help that he don't want it. He wanted it at first but he don't want it no more. He don't want it. But anyway going back to the article he says can't bear this bloody thing. He sees the white furiously wiping away black ink with a handkerchief every stinking time we'll get you some ballpoint pens over there is it really that you have to use that feather and the ink like you're back in the medieval times charles you have the right to definitely modernize things okay modernize things get you a big pen and sign that shit and move on okay tell them this is new age we ain't doing all that we don't need to do all that but we're gonna we're gonna get with modern updated technology we can't sign it like on a pen pad where y'all put the shit down there and y'all scroll it for me and let me just put my jay you know use the pen and, and sign my jay hon call if we can't do that we can't do nothing we're gonna have to decide that because we sitting up here giving my mama a, a day to observe because she died damn we need to give me a pen that i can work with and this is not it charles you make the rules brother okay or are you like the president and the parliament make the rules they just have you dispense it out to the public what's going on over there charles because i'm feeling sorry for you now i'm feeling sorry for you because you you shouldn't be doing that job not at your age not really mm -mm, not really <clears throat> but anyway going back to the uh, article it said just three days earlier charles was filmed angrily gesturing to have a raw aids clear to death where he was about to sign the Ascension Proclamation, which officially made him the monarch of the UK and Commonwealth following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Sidebar. You see what I'm saying? He don't even want to sign it. Because he know he'd be in some big uh, sticking shoes that he going to have to feel. He can't come close to feeling them. And he's like apprehensive about it and stuff. He's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But hey. Time has rolled in. He got to do it, pay his dues. He got to make it do what it do. And he needs to shut up. Okay, pretty much. But going on, he said the objects that he wanted to be removed consisted of a pen box and an inkwell, both of which reportedly been presents, presents from his son, Prince William and Prince Harry. Now, he probably mad at them because he know he ain't going gonna to be able to do this uh, for no full year or no couple of years. He know it. And he just feeling uh, nasty about it. <clears throat> so he just want to gesture something of goodwill faith that his sons gave him. He want to turn into like it's the enemy, you know, and he's behind enemy lines. So he got to do something about it. William and Harry, if you want to come get your dad, if you don't come and, and address Parliament and say, no, dad is just tired. His time of trying to reign as king has far exceeded him. 
and he just tired. Can you promote me? We get we have his blessing. That's all y'all need to do. Well, go ahead, talk to the queen. And she know, because she had to sit up there and sign the damn papers for him. Now, what kind of mess is that? Put a woman in charge. Just go on and say it. Men can't handle stuff now a day. Just put the woman in charge. But anyway, because <clears throat> we dominate in every damn field out there anyway. But anyway, we're going back to the article. It said um, Twitter users immediately, immediately had a field day with Saturday's tantrum. The servant must clear my desk for me. I can't be expected to move things. One person who was watching the live broadcast joked on Twitter while another added, first day on the job and already he's fed up. <laughs> <coughs> I love my job. <laughs> Because he's just, he's trying to tell y'all without actually telling y'all he's not fit anymore to hold such a high, pristine job. He just wanted to live his life free, carefree, and at his will. He cannot be uh, put in a box and told what to do. He just can't do it. So he's making all these references, a cry for help, but nobody's listening, okay? But old Deb over him, Deb Chanel's 48 words, she bring it to the family, and I'm pretty sure they can conclude as well. He don't need to be in that job no more. He just don't. It was given to him too late, and he's all in his feelings, and he's 73 years old, and he just don't want it, okay? But they keep trying to give it to him. They say, uh-uh, you wanted this. It, it, it's been a long time coming, but this is yours, okay? <clears throat> but going back to the article, it says the queen died on September 8th at the age of 96. Her passing concluded the longest reign of a single monarch in Britain's history. Having celebrated seven decades on the throne, her platinum jubilee took place in June. Now, my whole thing is, did the queen know something that her son was not ready? Or well, he wasn't really, uh, what do you call it, matured enough to handle the job as king? And that's why she didn't step down much sooner. Because I'm sure if she said to the parliament, um, I'm tired. I am not in good sign, money and mind and body to continue this journey on being your queen. Can my son take over? Can we just, you know, when Charles was in his late 50s and 60s where he could have been making a difference. You know, he wouldn't be throwing baby tantrum tantrums everywhere. You know, because next time he's going to be asking people to undress him. You know, he ain't going to have a wheel or the energy to undress itself then they're gonna probably have to give him a bath like he's a baby or an invalid then they're gonna have to tuck him in for the night and give him his pacifier you know what i'm saying this is a hunt this is just a hot mess a hot mess and he keeps showing up showing out for the negative each and every day what's going on over there britain what's going on but anyway i ain't got no more for this particular um video and subject topic i'll get down in them comments y'all tell me what y'all feel about King Charles running around him, acting like he he's some kind of orphan or some kind of well over privileged child that don't want any uh reprieve or rebrutness on him, but he just want to create a uh, havoc on everybody else. What kind of mess is that? But I'm through with this video, and y'all tell me what y'all felt about it honestly, uh, about him doing what he's doing over there, and it's the wrong time for him doing that. And are y'all feeling him? And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.